Writing internal dialogue, in my opinion, is one of the hardest things of writing. Humans are complex creatures, and when you're writing a character, you're writing a, a person. Uh, what they're thinking about, how their you know thoughts line up, how it how it adds to the character, how it makes them who they are. And if you mess that up, the readers can tell, they can feel it. And it's really hard to find a balance of writing internal dialogue that adds. That's my son ringing the doorbell. Lisa Cron gives some good advice around di internal dialogue. Basically just stuff your book with internal dialogue and backstory and then cut the fat as you're editing. I tried that and that's great. Uh, it's, it's a great way to go because I always had the problem of doing the opposite when when I had problems with internal dialogue, I just started writing without internal dialogue, which isn't the answer either. So it was a real fight for me to figure out what the balance was between, you know, too much internal dialogue, not enough, basically just adding as much as I can, cutting the fat, and then realizing that I wasn't adding internal dialogue that was actually adding to the story. Um, so it's, it's, it's as fun as a writer trying to figure out that, that delicate balance of internal dialogue that makes the story better, that makes the story impactful and gives it, you know, the emotional punch that a story needs to have.